This video is a brief introduction to the options available for an approver in the employee self-service application. So currently you're viewing the ESS login page. Once your ITC has completed your conversion from kiosk, you will be given your district's ESS URL address to log into your district's ESS instance. Your kiosk username will convert over and become your ESS username. However, a new password must be set. You will receive an email from the address registered in Legacy Kiosk that will provide a link to allow you to set an initial password. If you do not reset your password prior to the temporary password expiring, you can use the forgot password link on this page to manually generate a new password reset email. You will follow the steps in the email then to reset your password so that you can log in. A note, if your ESS user account does use external authentication, please use your Active Directory username and password to log in. So once logged in, and um, I am using Brenda Mullins as my supervisor example. Um, so once I log in, um, it will display the menu that the supervisor has available to them. So just to know, your existing kiosk roles uh, will be converted to ESS. So by default, all ESS users have the user role. So to find out the roles that you have, down at the bottom of your name, you can click on the down arrow and click on profile, and it will display the user profile information, and your roles will be displayed here. So in the case of Brenda, as a supervisor, she has the default user role, and then she also has been given the roles or they've been converted over from ESS uh, for leave supervisor for staff and leave request supervisor. So the leave supervisor for staff role allows you to view your staff's leave requests. Note, this role does not provide the ability to approve leave though. You also need to have the leave request approver role to actually approve leave in the system. So over here are all of the menu options. And uh, most of these options are defined by the user role. So you already have these options because you are a standard user. Um, in order to um, see a demo of that, we do have an another demo recording of just the user role information that goes over the majority of these options. What we're doing in this demo is we're just going to focus on the additional options that you have available with your supervisor and or approval role. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on the home page. And once a member of your staff submits a leave request, as long as the district has email configuration set up in ESS, you will receive an email notifying you that, your, that the leave request requires your approval. So it will include the detail of the staff member's leave request, along with a link to ESS so that you can access it and approve their leave request. So once you log into ESS with that leave request approver role, you will see your staff's leave request awaiting approval conveniently displayed here on our homepage. And where it's at is it underneath this pending workflows task. What it's um, highlighting is your leave request approval area. Um, Timesheets is not enabled. Uh, for this demo and therefore you won't see anything regarding timesheet approval. So this is going to take you to this grid here that shows you all of the outstanding uh, leave requests awaiting for your approval. And so in here then it's going to display the employee's name, their position, the beginning and ending time, 
of that leave request, the length of that leave request, and the category. Is it a sick leave request, a professional leave request, et cetera? So in here then, in order to view these, I would go in and click on the view option here. And it's going to display the details of their leave request. Also, there is a leave request daily details in order to provide it in a daily view. They just have one half day on Wednesday the 28th. At this point then, I can either approve the leave request and it will send it to the next leg of the workflow approval or I can reject it. The submitter will receive an email notifying them if the leave request was approved or rejected. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and I will reject this leave request. And if we want to provide a note as to why this leave request needs to be rejected, um, we can add that in here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on reject. And once I re accept it or reject it, it will be removed from my pending leave requests that need approval. If you wish to mass approve a uh, request instead of approving them one, of a, one at a time, you will notice off uh, to the left in your menu, there is a leave request approval option. Go ahead and click on that. And basically what you do here is, is, is you select the leave request you want to approve or reject by checking the box. Or if you want to select all of them, you can click on the top box. And it, then you either click on approve to mass approve all of them or reject to mass reject them. I am going to be selective again here again, and I'm going to pick on Susan again, but this time I'm going to approve this other leave request that she has. And this time I'm not going to um, add a note. I'll go ahead and just click on approve. And now she's been removed from this one as well. So basically you're using the leave request approval. If you want to mass approve or at the home screen, you can also approve them here as well, but they will be done one at a time. If you have a leave supervisor for staff role, um, there will be a couple additional options available under the menu. And so if I go to leave request, I will see an additional option for view supervised leave. And also under leave calendars, I will have an option for supervisor leave calendar. So with the view supervised leave, this allows you to view, and it's just view only, your staff's leave requests regardless of their approval status, whether they're initiated, whether they're rejected, whether they're approved, or whether they're already exported, so that you can view any leave requests your staff has, has created in ESS. So I'm going to filter down on Susan here. So I'm going to use my filter bar up here in order just to find hers. And so what I'm going to do, and remember, I rejected one of them and I approved the other. So if I click on the approved one here just to see it, again, it takes me to three different views of this leave request. The original uh, request here, um, the daily details, which we already talked about, and the leave request approval trail. So here is um, a great way for you to find out uh, where the leave request is at. So at this point, it was um, submitted by Susan on this day, and then Brenda approved it a few hours later. And if I go to the rejected one and just view that, again, if I go to the leave request approval trail, it'll show when Susan originally submitted it, and then it will show that it's been rejected by Brenda, and the note is included as well, just a few hours later. Under the supervisor leave calendar, this allows you to view your staff's leave requests regardless, again, of their approval status, 
whether they're initiated, rejected, approved, exported, but via calendar view. So uh, the default view here is monthly calendar. So you can see um, that I am, if I just kind of go through each month here via the monthly calendar, I can see that um, Stacy, who is part of my staff, I, I have her um, leave information here of her leave requests. Um, there's one for Susan. And if I just keep advancing, I'm going to see all the different uh, leave requests for my staff in a calendar view. Now I can go in and use the filters option and I can filter um, by a specific department code, by a specific building code, or just by um, a specific person. So if I just wanna pick on Susan again and then add her and then apply my filter, I'm only going to see the leave requests uh, from Susan. And then I can go back to filters and I can check this again, remove them from the grid. And then, and I could either clear my filters or apply the filters again. And then I'll be able to see everyone again. This concludes our demo of the supervisor approver access options in ESS.